Amongst the tribes of the moon, there lives an elite caste of warriors, worshippers of the goddess Lunari. These warriors have used the strength of their goddess to forge powerful artifacts to aid her people in their time of need. The most powerful of these weapons is Lightbrand. Thought to be lost after the Hellborn betrayal, the sword has been recently rediscovered and brought back to the battlefield by the Legion Magi. Hello, my name is Brent Weedmer, otherwise known as Burrow. I am the lead creative designer for Heroes of New Earth and I'm here to talk about the new upcoming item, Lightbrand. Lightbrand's inspiration came from the other two brands, Icebrand and Firebrand. As those two are the strength and agility versions, this would be the intelligence version of the item. Lightbrand is the Holy Blade of Lunari, the goddess of the moon. We introduced her with Solstice, our newest hero. Um, the actual blade itself was recently rediscovered uh, by the Archmage of the City of Iron. The, the location was hidden in a neophyte's book. And with that, you're going to be able to wield a brand new blade uh, in the Heroes of New Earth maps. It's also going to have two extra powers, just like the other two brands have. One of the powers of the light brand is going to be a flat mana regeneration, and the second power will be a stacking dot damage that will be applied every time you attack. Accompanied with light brand would be the buildups, just like firebrand and ice brand build into frostburn. Light brand will combine with firebrand to build burning light, and it will combine with ice brand to build frozen light. What I'm really looking forward to with light brand is very similar to what goes on with the ice brand and the firebrand. When you build both of them into the Frostburn, you then eventually split them up into the Frostwolf Skull and the Geometers. When you include the Light Brand, you're going to have a lot more combinations between the different blades or split them all up and make the Frostwolf Skull Geometers and Grimoires. The Grimoire of Power benefits almost every hero in that it amplifies all the damage that the hero does. Spell damage, auto attack damage, even the dot damage that the item applies. On top of that, now you'll be able to combine all three brands into Dawnbringer, which will greatly enhance the capabilities of all of them. Uh, Dawnbringer is actually the three blades of the gods combined into one. We've already mentioned that the, the first light brand is the Blade of Lunari. What many people don't realize is that Firebrand is actually the Blade of Soul, and Icebrand is the Blade of Oralis, the god of winter in the north. When the three blades are brought together, forged in the light of the waning moon, struck by the first rays of dawn's sun and then plunged in the heart of the aura borealis, it forms a blade that can be matched by few and will strike almost anything down. Past iterations of the light brand included a lot of different effects, such as cooldown reduction and spell vamp, and none of them seemed to work out the way we wanted for this item to be a caster carry auto attack item. One of the first iterations that we had of light brand was spell vamp. Spell vamp was a very hard mechanic to be effective on all heroes and not ridiculously overpowered for other heroes, such as like heroes that provide lots of AoE would be spell vamping tons of life, but then other heroes that would just have single target spells wouldn't really be doing much. So we quickly ended up scrapping the spell vamp idea. Light Brand was created as a complement to the other brands, made for carries and auto attack carries, uh, except this one would be the intelligence base, so it would be used for heroes that cast spells more or caster carries. Light Brand and all of its buildups will be coming to New Earth on October 12th, and we're really excited to see the way that this changes gameplay for everyone playing Han.